Good evening, it's good to be with you again. Uh, this evening, I'd like to share some thoughts that come out of uh, Isaiah 51. Uh, this is part of the reading for the daily lectionary today. Uh, the first few verses of Isaiah 51 read this way. Listen to me, you that pursue righteousness, you that seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn, and the quarry from which you were dug. Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah, who bore you. For he was but one when I called him, but I blessed him and made him many. But the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places and will make her wilderness like Eden, her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her thanksgiving in the voice of song. This passage in Isaiah comes from a critical moment in the history of the Jewish people as they were in exile in Babylon, and many of them were feeling quite isolated, not unlike what we're feeling right now. Uh, they had been taken away from their homes. Uh, their numbers had probably diminished they had seen so much loss, and of course, just, you know, just the sense of isolation, being far away from those whom they loved, far away from where they wanted to be. Uh, but God speaks to them. In your diminished numbers, in your feelings of isolation, re remember this, that God called Abraham. He was just one man. And God called Sarah just one woman. And from that very small beginning, God made a numerous people. God did great things. God expanded greatly upon that small beginning that he made with Abraham and Sarah. And for all of us, let us remember that it's in the small beginnings that God makes in our lives that so often we can see so many great things flourish and grow. Uh, in our feelings of being apart and isolated, we remember God has not forgotten us. God is still at work. God's love and blessing is for us. God will restore joy and happiness in all of our lives. Let us join together now in prayer. Lord, we ask that you would help us to trust you. And even when we feel small, when we feel diminished in numbers, when we feel weak, that is when your strength is seen most clearly. Restore to us the joy of rejoicing. May the deserts around us be made new. May the waste places become like the Garden of Eden, a place of joy and refreshment for us. All these things we ask that you would do by your hand because you are a holy God. Lord, we do seek righteousness. We do seek your ways. We ask for your renewal in those dead places in our lives. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen.